Hi guys, Tuesday evening. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, so you're probably noticing a different background today. So I am actually in Florida at my parents' home. Um, my mom, out of the blue, was just having um, some health challenges. She had this viral thing, you know, about two weeks ago, and then it just knocked her out after a week. Um, she kept testing negative multiple times, but she just, it knocked her off her feet and ended up getting admitted um, into the hospital last Thursday. So I decided to just come down to Florida and help them and take care of them and um, kind of figure out what was going on with her. Her sodium had really dropped and her blood pressure was really high. And so she was admitted for a few days. And so I am um, here in Florida. And so you'll see a different background and I apologize if there's noise here too. Um, but anyways, just wanted to get started with today's live. Um, unfortunately, we only had one question, um, which is fine because I really want to talk about the other two therapies that I'm really excited now to talk about and divulge of what I've been doing um, in the last you know six months to enhance my health and to really you know again the longevity portion of this of this group and my goals for longevity and things like that. So um, very excited to go into that first, but let's just answer the one question that we had. Um, Teresa had asked about affordable red light therapy. And I know Teresa's asked this question in the past about red light therapy, and I really, really love red light therapy, photobiomodulation. It really, really helps me. Um, and when I was at my sickest, I used to do it almost every day. Um, I've been really busy the last like six months or so, so I'm, I haven't been doing it every day, but I really feel like it's got a lot of benefits. Um, and so for me, it was super, super helpful to do the red light therapy. And just even like two weeks ago when I wasn't sleeping so much and I was just, my mom um, was having these health challenges, so I was up a lot in the night with her. And it was just, I would do the red light therapy and it would help with melatonin production and it was just so helpful for me. So I'm a big believer and the one I use is Juve, J-O-O-V-V. -O -O -V -V. Um, I mentioned this in the past, they were having a huge sale when they were about to come up with their new version. And so I ended up buying their older version, which was very deeply discounted a couple of years ago. Um, and so that's the one I use. So as far as Teresa asking, um, I got a few recommendations for you and I checked with some of the functional medicine groups to see if I had a better answer for you. Um, and a couple of things came recommended. So Therasag, um, Therasag portable saunas um, was one that came recommended. And then the Flex Beam came recommended. And the Flex Beam also has a podcast um, associated with it. Um, and so that one is supposedly getting good reviews. And then the other one I saw um, was Mito Red Light, um, M-I-T-O, Mito Red Light is something that's been recommended as well. Um, and then the last one I saw was um, Platinum LED Therapy Lights. Um, and so these are four different versions. I don't know the cost. I am not affiliated with any of these companies. I have never tried any of these companies myself personally, so I can't speak to any of them, but I just wanted to have other options for you because I know you've asked this question before. So Therasage portable um, saunas, and then there is the Flex Beam, um, and then there's also um, um, the Mito Red light therapy, MITO and then platinum LED therapy. The other thing, Teresa, I would recommend, I don't know where you live and if you have like holistic and wellness spas around you. Um, I know that before I bought mine and when I was pretty sick, I just needed to get some saunas and infrared and red light therapy. Um, there was a bunch of like wellness centers and saunas, uh, wellness spas around me. I think one of them, I believe was called Restore and I can't remember the other one. And they, I would just go there. I had a monthly membership. It was like $90 or $99 a month where I could use multiple things. I used to do magnesium floats and I used to do cryotherapy there. Um, and then I used to also use their photobiomodulation, which is their red light. So I don't know if that's an option for you. Um, for me, I did it for at least six to eight months, but then I just, 
it was good because for $99, I used to get a lot of other things. But once I stopped using like the magnesium floats for detox and things like that, I just didn't want to pay that. And I'd rather just buy a, a red light therapy unit in my home so I can do it whenever at any time. So those are a few of the options that I have. Um, and I hope that, um, you know, that kind of helps you with some of these options. Um, and we had no other questions. So guys, keep the questions coming. Um, you know, I just would love to answer any questions if I can be of any help. You know, as a reminder, you know, for any of my Q&A sessions, they are not um, medical advice. They are not, um, you know, supposed to be substituted for wor working with a practitioner and the medications they have you on. I mean, this is just a lot of it is just my real life experiences, my um, knowledge and just of the functional medicine world and then just educating you guys. So feel free to ask questions. I hope I've, you know, so far we've done quite a few already. I hope it's helpful. Um, the people that are new to the group, please go back and watch the other live Q and A sessions. They're posted on the top of the group. Um, and you really should watch them in order and really get an idea of kind of where we've been along the way. Um, and what we've covered so much already in these last, you know, few months. So feel free to go back and watch those and then, um, ask any questions that you may have, and we will try to address them on Tuesday. So other than that question, I'm going to try and share my screen. I hope this is going to work. Uh, slides, share screen. Okay. So let's see if it works here. Let me try this again. How can I share this screen? Window, there we go. I wanted to make a little presentation for you guys um, for the two therapies that I am talking about today. So, okay, so I wanted to talk about these two therapies that I have been um, reading on, researching, learning about for a really long time now. And I originally got interested in them mainly for the longevity portion a couple years ago but then over the years as i had gotten sicker and i had just you know learned a lot about these therapies i wanted to incorporate them once i got better um and so this was my impetus behind really learning and you know getting signed up for conferences and learning about these therapies was to then use them in my own life so i just felt that at this point i wanted to share these two therapies with you um you know, given that we're always, you know, trying to look for alternatives of how you can heal, how you can accelerate your healing, how you can get better, how you can take it to the next level, which is what my goal is, you know, really for longevity and things like that. So um, I'm going to share with you the two therapies that we're talking about today. The first one is peptide therapy, and the second one is life wave patches. So Let's start with peptide therapy. So peptide therapy is something that I had heard about at least six years ago. And you know, back then all the biohackers were doing it. It was not a very um, easily readily available and um, you know, something that just most normal people, average people did. And so I got interested in this about six or seven years ago and started learning more and following the biohackers that were doing it and um, regenerative doctors that were doing it and things like that. Um, and so I started doing a lot of that kind of therapy um, or learning about it. And then um, over time, I um, decided to enroll in some classes and conferences and things like that. And then about a year ago, I decided I was going to use it for myself and incorporate it into my healing journey, uh, mainly for the longevity portion. So for those of you that don't know what peptide therapy is, um, peptide therapeutics are peptides or polypeptides which are used for the treatment of diseases, especially like chronic illnesses, you know, hard to treat diseases. Um, naturally occurring peptides may serve as hormones and growth factors, um, neurotransmitters, ion channel um, molecules, and, and you know, anti-effectives. Peptide therapeutics mimic the functions of the body. 
um, and they help kind of speed up the healing process. You know, your body can produce its own peptides um, or collagen or things like that. That's where peptide therapy comes in. So peptide therapy refers to restoring the number of peptides to stimulate cellular regrowth systems within the body as a treatment option for specific conditions. So it helps with really regrowing the cells, stem cells, regeneration, mitochondrial health, things like that. So peptide therapy is really good for that. Um, I know that like NAD is a form of peptide therapy and I had that very early on when I was very sick. I had done NAD um, maybe four years ago and I know that was very helpful for me. It was a little tough for me to take, but I had done that. So this is just an arena that I've been really kind of dabbling with for a few years now. So what does peptide therapy do? It provides pain relief. It helps with soft tissue repair and healing. Um, it really accelerates the healing process, especially when your own, own body is very sick or inflamed or things like that, and it cannot facilitate this healing process. This is where peptides come in. Um, some peptides promote weight loss and lean muscle mass, and then reversing symptoms of sexual dysfunction, um, hormonal imbalances, um, cognitive function, brain inflammation. So there's a very vast variety of uses of peptide therapy and a lot of advantages to it. So I just took this screenshot and I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see, but these are just two screenshots of um, some common peptide therapies that um, practitioners here will provide. Um, and you can see there's so many different kinds and each one has its own um, you know, function that it helps with. And so some of the common ones, I mean, there's BPC, which is very common and the thymolins are very common. Um, NAD plus is very common. So you can see a lot of these and, you know, take a look at this, this slide later on and just pause and look at what each of them helps with um, and then how the dosing is done if you're interested in something um, and how, you know, it, the frequency and things like that. So I will tell you about my story, but these are just examples of all different kinds of peptides. So a few months back, I then decided to sign up for the Peptide 2.0 Summit. I just put some screenshots here, but this was a week long conference. And so it was just a week long session of learning about peptide therapy. So this doctor that you see here, I'm actually a really big fan of his, Matt, Matt Cook, Dr. Matt Cook. Um, he has a clinic out in California and they're just opening another one in West Palm Beach. And he's really been the pioneer, I think, for regenerative medicine and, you know, healing patients with chronic illnesses and Lyme and mold and um, all those conditions and Alzheimer's. And he's just really actively involved in regenerative medicine. I believe he has a podcast, too. I've heard him on many podcasts. I don't know if it was his podcast, but I believe on his website you can find either his podcast or the links to it. And here is Ben Greenfield. This is a guy that I followed even way before Dr. Matt Cook. Uh, and it's in fact how I found out about Matt Cook was one of Ben Greenfield's um, podcasts. And so um, he was a biohacker or is a biohacker who's been using peptide therapy for a very, very long time. Um, and so that's really how I started finding out about peptide therapy. So you can see that um, you know, this is just like a screenshot. I think this was just day one, but we had seven days of this where we were just learning about every kind of, you know, peptide therapy and how to do it and what to do with it and what it does and all of that. It was just a fantastic summit. Um, and, you know, if you guys want more information on it later on down the road, I can, you know, put, start putting some stuff together. Um, but basically, peptide therapy, this is my experience and this is what I have started with. Um, so the first one that my doctor started me on um, is BPC-157. And like I said, I wanted to start peptide therapy over a year ago, but I felt that yes, I could just start it, but I wanted to get really, really well versed and educated on it as to what I'm starting. Um, because my healing journey, thankfully, um, has been a long journey, but it's, you know, it's a point where I'm starting to get a lot better and um, I'm doing obviously much better. And so I wanted to incorporate peptide therapy when I was better. Now, most people incorporate peptide therapy when they're still very ill and they see some drastic results and they get better. Um, but some people it's hard to handle. Um, and so then if they have a lot of sensitivities, they don't do so, so well. Um, and so for me, I just wanted to wait till the end 
um, and when once I was healed and then really use it as a like a springboard. But also, like I said, I wanted to learn more about it. So I decided to just really start with these two peptides first. Um, BPC-157 is an oral, um, this is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is an oral um, uh, peptide. And what it really helps with is tendon injuries, you know, helps with your nervous system, damaged ligaments, wound healing, inflammation, but it's also very well known for helping heal your gut, your leaky gut, um, which comes with all these chronic illnesses, mold, Lyme, all of that. Um, and so it helps with leaky gut, GI cramps, irritable bowel syndrome, prevents gastric ulcers, things like that. So I think that my um, physician, when we started talking about peptide therapy, he was like, yes, you definitely need the thymosins, but let's put you on BPC-157 to really just make sure that you are completely healed as far as your gut is concerned. Um, and then the second thing he put me on is thymosin beta and alpha. So it's those are two different peptides. I do I do 30 days of thymosin beta, and then I switch to thymosin alpha. And the thing with the thymosin is kind of like your thymus gland, which is really responsible for your immune system, uh, inflammation, things like that. So this is the thymosin beta and alpha. It helps with stem cells and restoring immune function. It modulates cytokines, and it plays a role in chronic inflammation. So my um, reason for wanting to do some thymosin beta and alpha is obviously I'm able to exercise now. I exercise, you know, at least three to four times a week and, um, you know, but I still get wiped out and I still have to do a lot of preventative stuff before and after. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I need to nap if I've exercised too much and sometimes I crash um, and that kind of stuff. So that's been really helpful for me um, is to start the thymosin beta and alpha and um, I can't speak, you know, completely, but I wanted to show you guys, I can't speak completely at the benefits because I just started a few months back and I'm not yet completely seeing the benefits of it um, as much as I think most people do. Um, but I did want to share this with you. This is the thymosin um, beta and alpha. If you guys can see, um, you know, it's just an injection. This one I inject sub Q, so in the belly. Um, it's not a very big needle. It's of course, it pricks a little bit, but, um, you know, it goes away pretty quickly. And it comes in a little vial like this that you can just, um, you know, put the sy syringe in there and then inject yourself. Um, so one is oral. The BPC-157 is oral. And then the thymosin beta or alpha is, um, is uh, injectable. And you inject it, you know, wherever you have fat, but really in the belly is the best and the most preferred. So those are the two I've started with. Um, maybe in a few months, I'll follow up with you guys and, and tell you how I'm doing um, and keep up you know, with any of these peptide therapies if I'm going to continue long term. Right now, at least three to six months is the plan if I'm going to do it. The next thing I want to talk about is LifeWave patches. This is just this new, very cutting edge um, treatment modality or therapy you know, biohacking, anything that you want to call it that has come on the market. Um, it was invented by a, a practitioner who had invented this for the Navy SEAL. And I want to say he, don't quote me exactly, but he, he had this, um, these patches for the Navy SEALs um, to have more energy, more endurance, to be able to go to war and combat and, you know, really not have any issues. I think he had this for 18 years in the Navy before he um, then started selling it to the real world. So you can take a look. You'll have to um, enter this particular website, www.lifewave.com slash HCIL, which is Healing Chronic Illness and Longevity. Um, and that way that'll give you access to the website. And if you want to buy products, I do believe that you have to use a distributor ID. Um, and so I just put mine there. So the way this came about is I started finding out about these LifeWave patches from different people. And I, what I was reading about it, I thought that would really help me and then also help you know, my family members and other patients and things like that. So I ended up um, signing up as a distributor just because I knew that I was gonna use these patches in bulk and I was going to use them for my friends and family um, and then also hopefully if other people wanted to use it then that's a really good way so there's different things that you can do you can do just regular straight out buy it or preferred customer I think for that you have to do like an auto ship which you can cancel 
and then you can do distributor. So I signed up for distributor. Um, and it's got a really good history. If you go to the website, if you look up all their, um, on the website, they have all the research and all the data um, and clinical trials and things that they've worked on and the history behind it, um, videos on it. I mean, it's just very, very amazing. And I'll explain a little bit of the, the, the way it works and, and what it does. Um, I just wanted to put, this is just a screenshot from their website. Um, these are just like regular pricing if you just sign up, you know, regular. But if you do a couple of their different options, which I think is like preferred customer and there's also distributor and there's a bunch of different options, it's a lot cheaper than this. Um, but these are just a few of the, some of the patches that they have. So, so now you can ask me, what do the patches do? The patches are wearable devices. They have no ingredients in them. They redirect light from the human body and use it as a carrier to send biological signals into the body. And so what that does, I mean, these are little patches. I have all of mine over here. I, I'm going to hopefully try to show, but they're, you know, they're little patches like this. Um, and I, you just, you have all different names and sizes and I mean, sorry, names and, and types. And then we can talk about each one of them, but these are all my patches here. And so what it looks like, um, I'm just going to pull one of these out. Um, so they are very tiny, almost like a post-it note and you just peel it off like this and then you patch it on whatever part of the body you're going to be patching. And so what it does is that it, they're wearable devices. There's no ingredients in them. Um, there's little crystal isomers in there. And what they do is wherever you patch it, it redirects light um, and uses it to send signals to the body to elevate the regenerative peptides. So kind of like peptide therapy, but this just helps your body produce its own peptides. And it increases bioelectrical activity in the body. Um, and you have to, there's a whole protocol and whole, it, you really, it relies on Chinese um, medicine and the acupuncture points, and you have to put these patches on the acupuncture points. So we'll get into that a little bit. So different arrangement of um, crystal isomers, liquid crystals inside the patch sends different signals to the body. So LifeWave patches combine the power of acupuncture, photobiomodulation, which is the red light therapy, um, or the light therapy, and it activates the stem cells and regenerates the peptides just by sticking a simple patch on. Um, and it's like a remote control. Like, you know, your remote control, when you press specific things, um, specific buttons, it has specific purposes. Um, and so that's how it, you know, bends light to give you this, you know, volume up, volume down, chain channel, things like that. So it's the same way for these patches that it has um, very specific purposes each patch has you know different kinds of crystals and things like that to do the job that it needs to do and the best thing that i love about it is that it raise, raises peptides in your body and again go to the website look up all the clinical studies and data behind it because as you guys know i always need research and data backed up with the stuff that i do um so this is what it kind of looks like you see the patch it, this is an exaggerated version of this light, but basically it just bends the light into the body um, all along the um, Chinese acupuncture points and meridians and really helps your body regenerate and heal itself. Um, they are all natural. They have no toxic or harmful ingredients in them. They have to be placed on specific acupuncture points and there's various protocols. Um, so you can have a protocol for brain balancing, or if you have HPA axis dysfunction for the vagus nerve, there's a protocol for that. There's a protocol for MTHFR. There's detox protocols. There is, um, mold and Lyme, diabetes, weight loss protocols, travel protocols, um, low back pain, um, kidney and adrenal. If you have adrenal insufficiency, the kidney and adre adrenal protocol, um, even a hormone balancing protocol is really good. If you're low on energy, they have one of those. So they have at least 60 different protocols that are already set, but then there's so many more. Um, and it enhances your current modality. So like if you're already using some sort of treatment, this kind of enhances your healing um, journey. So again, if you go to their website, um, there's a Facebook learning group as well, which is an excellent resource. That's you know a lot of where... 
um, I did a lot of my learning and I worked with someone who really guided me into learning about all of these protocols and what to start with and what to do. Um, the website has all the clinical study, studies and data published. There is thousands of interviews on the Facebook group with medical practitioners that you can watch. Um, medical practitioners are using this. Um, David Beckham, I remember I'd seen a picture where he had energy enhancers on his um, chest during you know, one of the World Cup or, or soccer matches or whatever. Um, and so the medical practitioners are, there's so many interviews on the Facebook group where they're talking about um, each and every protocol that they've done. So you can watch the interviews on the Facebook group. Um, and then there's a search option on the top, like any other group, you search an option. Like if you're having tooth pain, then you type in their tooth pain and it'll tell you what patches to put where. Um, if you have a migraine, it'll tell you, you know, what patches to put where. Um, so it's just an explanation of each and every patch and what it does is in a whole Facebook group. Um, of course, like everything else, it's not intended to diagnose or treat, but simply give recommendations for protocols. So I'm not going to go through all of this. If I showed you guys, I mean, I have like, I bought pretty much all of them. Um, I have every kind of protocol, I mean, every kind of patch. Um, and so each patch does something different. And so like Ice Wave is for pain, Energy Enhancer is for increased energy, um, Eon is for anti-inflammatory, anti-stress. Um, the the G patch, which is the glute patch, is for antioxidant detoxifier. The carnosine is for tissue repair and healing. SP6 is for appetite control and um, craving suppressor. Silent night is for sleep. X39 is a stem cell patch to re, you know regenerate your stem cells. Um, Alavita is a re body and skin regenerating system. Um, Nirvana is for the state of happiness and joy. Um, and then X49 is their newest stem cell activating patch. Um, so there's just, you know, a bunch of different patches and I don't want to, I'm, I'm not going to go into each one of them. You can, once you go to the Facebook page or even the group, um, um, sorry, the Facebook group or even the website, they will explain each one of these things and what each patch does. So how do you get started? There's a couple of um, principles that you have to follow. You have to check your polarity first. And what that means is that you're just gonna check that you are, your the electricity uh, is flowing the correct direction and your polarity is correct in your body. And so there's a, a multiple videos on the Facebook group that shows you how to check your polarity. It takes like 30 seconds. And basically you stand and you put your hand here. And if you sway forward, you turn it over, you sway backwards, then um, your polarity is correct. If it's not correct, you know, if you do the opposite or you don't do anything at all, then it teaches you how to correct your polarity. All of this takes about one minute um, at the most. Um, so you always want to check your polarity first. And then it's 12 hours on, 12 hours off. That's what all the clinical studies are done on this. So you put the patch on for 12 hours and then you take it off for 12 hours. You have to get your body to rest. Um, and also you don't want your body to just get used to this where it's not as effective. So 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Um, and each patch, you know, what I do is I just, I cut it in, I, I, it's already cut in half, but I use one half um, one day. And then the next day I take it off and I use the same patch for the other 12 hours. So um, they say that each patch works for 24 hours, but of course you want to do 12 hours on and 12 hours off. Um, so they last really long. Each pack will last you really long because you can use one patch for two days. Um, and each patch that you order, it comes with a booklet and it shows you the, the ideal um, locations of each patch and where you should put them. Um, so it kind of does all the guesswork for you about um, you know, the Chinese medicine acupuncture points and things like that. Um, it just tells you like, if you get X39, these are the four areas or five areas that it works best on, or, you know, X49, where does it go? Or Eon, where does it go? So it kind of shows you all that. Um, they recommend like one patch, just one patch to start. So you do X39 patch for 30 days. Like that's their best recommendation just by people doing X39 patch for 30 days, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, the testimonials and the stories have been amazing. I mean, people are getting off blood pressure meds, getting off diabetes meds, they're growing hair again um, that they had lost or things like that. Their skin gets better. They have more energy. So 
these are not my testimonials. These are actually people on the group that are sharing this kind of stuff. Um, but that's the one that they recommend, just X39 for 30 days. And people are like, oh, I didn't see any benefits. But there's a lot of internal benefits going on. Um, and so that might be a good start. I'll give you some more suggestions. But um, so that's one option. And then you have to ground every day or you should ground every day. It's recommended. So basically, you guys know I've talked about grounding so much where you are walking every day on bare grass, on the bare ground um, every day. And what that does is just corrects your polarity, um, you know, the earth and, and, and all the um, electrons that it provides for healing. But then that also increases um, conductibility in your body. Um, and so grounding is recommended. It's really recommended that you take electrolytes and magnesium while you're patching because, you know, you do need that for conduction of these ions and electrons. And then lots of water, lots of water while you are patching because it is dehydrating a little bit. Um, you know, I started patching a few months back. And I will tell you, it's worked really well for me. I have done the migraine protocols. I have done... Um, the brain balancing protocol is excellent, especially for people with chronic illness and where you have a lot of brain fog and a lot of brain inflammation, um, which I still tend to get once in a while. I just use the Aeon pay, patch, A-E-O-N, and there's a very specific protocol for brain balancing. It's pretty amazing. So if I have migraines, I patch with Ice Wave or I patch you know, the specific protocols. Um, you know, my mom, I was telling you, has had these issues with her health and her blood pressure has been very very high so as soon as i took her again to the er yesterday i just patched her up um, for the high blood pressure protocol and she's still patched up you know so um, my daughter has a little like slight eczema on her elbow um, and i've been patching her for four days now um, just patching that area and it's already looking really good i took before pictures and i'll take after pictures to share with you guys um, but she's looking really good so i've been patching my family members um, i have spent a lot of time learning about these patches because unfortunately the person who referred me um you know she i just felt was out to um make some good money and so she had me come on board she sent me all the information in the beginning and then she just i wasn't tolerating the patches properly in the beginning i was not tolerating them well because they're really strong and they do a lot they're very helpful but for people who have chronic illness or if you have sensitivities you have mthfr you have detox issues you know things like that you have to go very slow and so she just kept telling me buy this patch and this patch and this protocol and this protocol and i just kept buying everything um which is fine because i use them but the problem was that she was not guiding me in the right direction like every time she just kept telling me to do this new protocol new protocol well i wasn't tolerating any of it and so then i um got under the wing of one of the main people in this um the patching industry the patching company and she's been phenomenal so she then guided me like she's you know basically talked to me and said okay you're not tolerating any patches tell me a little bit about your history and, you know, I have had knee surgery a year ago, but I've also had three C-sections. So she was like, well, that's where, it, you know, you have blockage. Um, and so then initially she just had me do the surgical protocol on my knee and my C-section scar. Um, I had three C-sections. So she said that there's blockage of energy there. It's not going through. So you just, you know, it stays up top and you stay, get really sick with it. Um, and so then she had me do these patches and just around my C-section scar and my knee scar. And I'll tell you, I only patched for four days and my C-section scar got completely softer. Um, but the point of it is to like really help the energy then go through because the fascia doesn't heal correctly. Um, and so that was the start. And then, you know, I was having just a lot of like issues with brain balancing and still having brain fog if I take any medication or supplement. And so then they had, she had done an interview with someone, a practitioner for brain balancing. And this is an excellent interview. It's on the Facebook group for people with dysautonomia, people with, um, who are just not healing. You have a brain balancing issue between your left and right side of your brain. And so just one patch, which is A, A E O N E O N, um, and the very specific patterns. Uh, there was a time like a month ago where I was just having so much brain fog again and like brain swelling and things. 
Um, and I just patched the Eon and my brain inflammation or, um, you know, it started getting better. So um, my recommendation to you based on my story, I had a really tough time and I was not very pleased with the person that referred me because she just kept telling me, buy this, buy this, buy this. And, you know, 30 patch or not 30, but whatever, you know, 15, 20 patches later, different kinds, I was not tolerating anything. So that's why I want to educate you guys first. Like this is a fantastic um, uh, wearable device and it's got a lot of benefits, but you do not want to jump in, especially everyone on this group has a lot of illness and sensitivities where, you know, chronically ill people with healing issues, you do not want to overburden your system like that. So, like I said, I think the two best protocols, um, I think, are the brain balancing protocol, especially if you have dysautonomia, if you're not healing, you can't tolerate medications, you can't tolerate any treatments. Um, that's probably the best protocol, I think, for very, very sensitive people. It's one patch, and I think you have to move it around um, throughout the day, and it's around the head, and there's locations behind the ear, on top of the head, behind the head, on your thymus, um, things like that. So there's very specific ways to patch this Eon patch. So that's a really good one. And like I said, also, the company also recommends just X39, 30 days, get your body used to patching, stem cell production, peptide production, that kind of stuff. Um, so those are the really two basic protocols I think that you, you know, people with chronic illness should start with. You shouldn't jump into all these protocols, especially like I did, and I learned the hard way. Um, another really good protocol is the HPA axis protocol, which is the vagus nerve protocol. Um, you know, people with chronic illness have an imbalance in their vagus nerve, and there's a very specific protocol. Um, if I remember correctly, it's Eon on one side of the ear, um, Silent Nights on the other side of the ear by the vagus nerve, and then, um, uh, I just blanked out. Um, but anyways, I think there's like three, um, SP6, sorry, SP6, Eon, and then um, something in the back of the neck. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to totally butcher that. So you'd have to look it up because I don't remember it. I did it quite a while back. Um, but that was a good protocol then for me to move on to um, MTHFR protocol. If you have the MT MTHFR gene, that is a really good protocol. There's a mold, Lyme protocol. And then the adrenal kidney tonification protocol is actually really good. And I've used that one a lot too, um, especially when my um, adrenals were affected early in the year when I had the virus um, thing going on. I mean, that was just something that really helped my adrenals. And um, anybody with adrenal fatigue, um, you know, adrenal insufficiency, Cushing's, all of that stuff, the adrenal kidney tonification protocol is really, really good. But again, I don't recommend starting with that. I really recommend starting with the one basic X39 for 30 days or the brain balancing protocol. See how you tolerate that and then work your way up slowly, um, especially if you're not detoxifying good. Um, the four gets and the five elements are very strong detox protocols. Um, I did them and I had a very tough time, but that was because I hadn't done all the other steps first. So I decided that I was going to learn as much as I could first before just jumping into these patches. Um, and then same reason for waiting this long to share them with you guys, because again, I want to be the guinea pig. I want to do this for a really long time to make sure that it's working for me. Um, and there's clinical data and research and stuff behind it before I share um, with you guys what I'm doing. Um, and so, you know, vetting it out and just making sure that, that this is something that really does work. But, you know, I want to make sure that there's no harmful effects. I want to make sure that I, like I said, I went through so many different protocols and trials and tribulations to now be able to come out and say, no, for chronically ill people, for other people, it's different. But for chronically ill people, there's very specific steps and you have to go really, really slow. Um, so how can you get started with the LifeWay patches? The first thing I need you guys to do is to comment on this video below um, so I can add you to the Facebook group. You have to be invited by someone. Um, so comment on this video below and I can add you to the Facebook group. It is, I think there's like 48,000 people on there. It is a plethora of information. You will go down a rabbit hole. If you just search any protocol, you will go down a rabbit hole because there's so many different treatments. But what I love reading the most on the group is testimonials and how people are doing so well with it and all the benefits they've had. So the Facebook group is just a fantastic place um, to start getting information first. 
and then start learning everything that you can about patching and protocols. Don't be in a rush um, to go out and buy them. You know, you can just start with one patch and start with one thing and then, you know, build your way up. Take it slow. Um, either X39, like I said, for 30 days or Eon um, is the other patch that you can start with. Of course, you have to be referred by someone. So that's why I really like you guys to use this website, which is obviously my um link to this which is lifewave.com slash hcil um, healing chronic illness and longevity and then um, if you need a distributor id you can use this one you can use mine because i'm referring you guys and like i said i'm a distributor with them now but i have seen amazing benefits um my son who had a um ocd lesion of his elbow was not healing for eight months and I ended up patching him just carnosine on the inside and X39 on the outside. And I think I patched him for about three to four weeks. And he's back to sports. Um, you know, so he's just doing really well. Like I said, I patch my mom. I patch myself all the time. Um, I did. I, I traveled. As I told you guys, I flew to come to Florida to be with my mom. And I last time I flew, I felt horrible. Because of all the EMFs, it really does still get me because I'm very sensitive. And so I had read about the travel protocol and it was, it was a little sudden that I had to come to Florida because my mom was not well. Um, and so I decided to do the travel protocol. And can I tell you guys, I felt amazing. Even after I landed and I got home and I just slept um, that night and it just was really, really helpful, whether it was the EMFs or it was shielding me, I feel miserable when I fly. Um, nowadays and so that was really a helpful protocol there's a cold you know if you have a cold there's a cold protocol if you have a cough there's a cough protocol um there's just a lot of stuff it's just a fantastic um device and treatment option and again i wanted to learn about it so i can bring it to you guys um as an option as you know this page is all about education i like to bring you guys every option there is out there to help heal yourself to get better um, because that's my goal. Um, I want you guys to have the same successes that I had. I had a lot of trials and tribulations with my health, um, but then it took so much dedication and hard work and just learning, learning and being my own advocate to heal myself. And so I have over the years done so many um, treatment options and modalities and, and um, you know, everything in the world that you can think of, I had tried it. And so for me, this was just one more um, tool in my toolbox to help myself get to the next level, but hopefully be able to share with others because something may work for you. One thing may not work for you um, that worked for me or something, you know, so I want to always give you guys very many options for healing and what you can do with this whole healing process and try different things um, and things like that. So. That's my little spiel on the patches. Again, if you want to sign up, you have to go to www.lifewave.com slash HCIL. Please comment below if you want me to add you to the Facebook group and I will invite you. Um, you'll get accepted faster that way. Um, it's an excellent group full of information. Don't get overwhelmed. This is why I waited this long to do this presentation and tell you guys about it because I wanted to learn everything that I could, all the pros, all the cons, all the disadvantages, all the things that didn't work for me um, before I just threw it out to you guys and then, you know, have you guys go through the same pain and misery that I did, um, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys will take the time to learn about these patches, go slow, and then um, read the testimonials on the Facebook group and work your way from there, you know. So um hopefully that's been good help for you guys today um like i said apologize a little bit for the tiredness and just kind of um getting this live done today very quickly but um i wanted to make sure that we had a live done for today next week same time same place guys please ask questions feel free to ask questions about the patching um, or the peptide therapy or anything else that you are encountering in your healing journey that we can um, talk about and I will try to shed some light. Um, have a great evening guys and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.